também. Hey everybody, Galusia here, joined with who's just running at me, Scale, and Hello. Viper, who's off in the mountains, hard at work, Hi. and uh, this is another episode of Surviving Astroneer, woo! So today yeah. we are, I... I'm going to be traveling to another planet. <clears throat> Let me see here. Planets. Uh, Kalidor. Haven't been there yet. Uh, let's see. It has a lot of uh, copper. And then it has some wolframerite. And then hydrogen and sulfur. So sulfur's new. I don't have sulfur yet, right? We don't have sulfur, right? So, the sun is very high, but wind is low, so I'm going to make a lot of solar panels before I go anywhere. And then, um, they are going to stay here to work on hooking up those huge alien beacon-looking thingies, because we want to start getting this whole planet hooked up with that. So, we're going to figure that out. Um, the only thing that I did off-camera since uh, we last played together was I wanted to try a couple things including some of the new stuff. So I built a large rover, um, which has a research on it I forgot about. So I put two floodlights on the front of it because they work like headlights, uh, and it works quite well. Uh, they don't drain any power, so that was nice to figure out. Uh, at least they don't seem like they drain any power. And then you can see I set it up with uh, large batteries and a bunch of storage and a crane, and I... I didn't really know how the crane worked, I'll be completely frank with you. So, I started messing with it, and then I realized that the crane needs a drill head, and you're supposed to use it just to drill into resources that you find. And so I needed to research and build drill heads, but we used all of our research stuff up on other stuff, so I kind of couldn't do that. Um, so that was going to have to wait, but, you know, there it is all the same. And then, um, let me see. I'm gonna unhook this to see if it ever, if that those lights drain the battery at all. And then uh, I did build a solar array just because I was curious about it. And I put it over here because I've never built one before. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's uh, it, t it generates the same amount of power as four medium solar panels. But obviously, it doesn't require, like, it's its own base. It doesn't have to have, like, a thing to hook up to it. Um, but frankly, for the amount of, like, research it takes to unlock it and then the stuff to build it, I kind of felt like it was a little bit silly, honestly. I think I'd rather just have four medium solar panels and be done well, with it. Well, it doesn't take a platform, right? No, it does not take a platform. But I still kind of feel like it was a little bit silly. I also, because if the box that, packed, that it was packed in was smaller... I think it would be less silly, but it's in like a massive box that you can't like bring with you in the ship. And it's not that big. Like even though it's called a solar array, like I was imagining this like huge thing in my head, it's not that big. So um, that was uh, sort of a letdown in a way. Um, I really felt like it should have been larger because it takes up one of those big, big, big boxes. So you can't bring it with you. If you could bring it with you, if it was packed into a medium, and I get why it's in a large box, because the it's the number of ingredients. It takes four ingredients. But if you could put it into a medium box, then I feel like it would absolutely uh, be worth it. Then Because then you could just bring it with you, and boom, you have four solar panels ready to go on this new planet. Um, so I was a little bit underwhelmed, but that's just me. We see all this stuff. This, okay. uh, this planet looks insanely, from space anyway, looks very, like, craggy and, like, rocky and craggy. not, not great. You're craggy. I will, I will report back to you in a minute. It's a dry heat is the achievement I just got. Uh, whoa! What the hell are those? Those are very interesting trees. 
So it's kind of hard to see on this planet because it's like really bright and there's a lot and there's a fair amount of dust blowing about. So it honestly like the brightness like kind of like it's it's bright but not like in a like I'm looking into a flashlight kind of bright like it's a different kind of bright I guess I don't know it's, it's hard just to describe. a super bright day in the middle of winter kind of bright. Yeah and it yes that's exactly what it's like. Yeah. Th thank you Canadian. Uh, You're so <laughs> it. It just, it kind of hurts my eyes. Like, I'm squinting yep. a little bit to play on this planet. Like, truth be told. Mm hmm It's kind of weird. Uh, mostly, like, when the dust is kicking around. Like, it just, like, really affects my senses. Yeah. All right, well, you keep uh, building stuff. I'm going to keep concentrating on resource acquisition. We need to start, mm -hmm. uh... That sounds fancy. Listen to, listen to Fancy Pants over here. I don't know, I was in yeah, the military. Resource acquisition. Yeah. I forget resource you acquisition. were in the military. You was in the military? Yes. It doesn't come up that much in conversation. Weapon. Yeah. I was I was uh, active duty for four years and traditional armed service for six. How exciting. What branch Rapid did you serve in again? Air Force. Uh, okay, okay, yes. We have <laughs> had this conversation. We just literally never talk about it. Yeah. We need hydrazine. We need hydrazine. Because, like, I was in the army, but, like, I do, like, it does come up in conversation now and again, like, because I'll, like, make references to something militaristic and, like, in an appropriate something time. Something that happened. Or yeah, but, like, weird. that's, like, the first time, I think, at least while, like, working on a YouTube video, that you've ever said anything... Like, that sounded militaristic, and then, like, explained it as such. Like, well, I was in the military, and that's why I said that. Like, that's... It just never comes up. It's super interesting. There's a lot about Viper that I don't really either know, or, like, we talk about enough for me to, like, think about. But mm -hmm. I spend more time with him than, like, other than my family and my coworkers, obviously, because I see those fools every day. <laughs> Like, Scale and Viper okay. are, like, my two closest friends, and I hang out with them, you know, at at least once a week when we're recording YouTube stuff and hanging out that way. And I know a fair amount about Scale. I don't know a fair amount about Viper. At least I don't feel like I do. Because you don't ask. All right, well, fair enough. <laughs> I don't, but I don't tend to pry into people's yeah. stuff. Like I don't that's, like that's not I'm that's not my personality. I don't I don't usually ask people questions about their private stuff. life. It's not really my concern. What he's saying is he doesn't care about you, Piper. Right. Uh, he, <laughs> he does. He just doesn't care enough to know. You know, want to know more. Hmm. It's like, I know this about you, and that's all I want to know. He plays games, that's it. He plays yeah. games, that's all he matters. Games. Done. <laughs> wow, these little... These little things here actually give quite a large amount of scrap. Yeah, there are some things where it's very disproportional. The amount of scrap you receive. Disproportional? You got all kinds of big words thrown around in this episode. I'm really, like, weird. I Some words I can spell, like, no problem. Like, disproportional. I could probably spell that if I tried. And then there's just stupid things like guess. I have no idea how to fuck to spell guess. Guess? Guess? Yeah. G-U-E-S-S. -S. Yeah. I, See, that I, I might figure throw it me out off. If I, I might forget if it's I'm one or two try. S's. Yeah. Honestly. Like, like, I'm I really will... bad at spelling. Or really, I have no idea how to spell that sometimes. It takes me a few minutes. I'm so thankful that you can... Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm no, so I'm, thankful I'm, that I'm, Discord has... Uh, fucking allows you to edit stuff after you send it. Because oh, you'll yeah. see, like, if you look in our conversations, so much of my time spent is just like, Oh, that was edited. <laughs> that was edited. That was edited. Because afterwards I'll be like, Oh, wait, I remember how to spell that. <laughs> That's okay. Spelling's not your strong suit. It's not my strong suit nope. either. Like, not even remotely. I'm definitely more of a numbers guy. So, like, if there's... If I have to do something with numbers, like, I'm I'm not that bad off. But if I have to spell something, then, like, we're in trouble. Like, hopefully our yep. lives don't depend on my ability to spell. 
I will say that I can't like I can't spell everything just out loud. There are certain things where I have to like think about it as I'm writing it down. It's like you mm -hmm. have to write it down. So that that is, I, and a lot of people I think they're that way where they're like, well, hold on, let me write it down. Yeah. Like you know, like anytime I have to write out a legal document, it's like, all right, make me two copies for me to test it and then copy down the copies. Right. Because I will not remember. Um, a lot of people like because I work as a car salesman so like i have to you know i have to ask a lot of personal questions including what uh, your social um because at some point i'm gonna need that for a car deal and um a lot of people have to write it down on a piece of paper to remember it. like they don't just like rattle it off their head so i've dug pretty deep into calador right now like i didn't like find a cave system because most of the time i just make my own and you'll break into a cave because usually the caves are so massive underground like there's they're more hollow than they are solid and it's pretty easy yeah. to find a cave but i am not finding a cave right now like i'm thoroughly digging and i can't find shit never mind i just found it but i had to go really deep <laughs> okay i had to go really deep to find this cave and it's a son of a bitch either way so i'm not gonna say his name because he was a really good first sergeant but when i was in the army i and i was in korea most of my time in korea was actually spent as like the company it guy it's called an imo um even though that's not what my job training was for at all but the First sergeant found out that I went to school for computers and they needed an IMO, so boom, now I'm the IMO. So, um, he, one day he called me at like midnight and, uh, I lived right next to the company building and so he calls me because he can't get his printer to work, he has really important documents, he has to get printed for first thing in the morning. Like, he's working late, and he's just super frustrated because it's not working. So, I have to get dressed, go in. I mean, thankfully, it was literally right next door to the thing. But I go in, and that's literally what it was. The printer was out of paper. <laughs> so, you know, like, he wasn't in the room, thank God, because I didn't want to embarrass him. So, like, he's... Like, I... I stayed in there a couple extra minutes, so it seemed like I was doing something. And then, like, I left his office, and I was like, all right, you're all good. It's working great. And he's like, oh, that's great. What'd you do? And I was like, I don't want to bore you with the tales first start, and you just have yourself a good night. And then it was fucking... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess he's just super fucking... But oh, it's like, I, yeah, right, like, normally documents. he's a very smart man. Yeah. He's and very just, good like, at his you're, job. You're panicking at that point in time. But, like, oh, yeah, he just shit, he had shit wrong? to do. Like, he had to yeah, get this and, done. It's midnight. God knows he's probably been up for, like, 24 straight hours or some shit. Like, he just wasn't thinking about it. Like, I'm yeah. printing documents. Suddenly they're not working. Why? And, like, so he's just going to call his IMO. Like, that's... That's what yep. you do when you're in a position of power. You delegate how I need someone to fix this for me. Just turned out to be something really easy that he could have fixed on his own. RHIP. Ah. Okay, so. Uh, the cave system that I have discovered for Kalidor is primarily made of the, like, tough rock. Mm -hmm. So that part makes it difficult. Um, and I haven't seen, so far all I've seen is, like, quartz. I haven't seen any, like, really cool resources yet, and aluminum. Like, nothing overly exciting. But the cave system is massive, now that I've broken into it. There's huge openings all over the place that if I fell through, I would certainly die and be in a much lower level. Like, the planet has very large, lower tiers, like, almost constantly very cavernous it's very cavernous yes thank you i would and like i'm sliding all over the place like this is very holy shizzle that's huge yeah it's so cavernous dude i can't even see the bottom of that over there where my mouse cursor is for those of you watching at home that is like yeah it's very cavernous um this is, oh my god, I almost fell in that hole. I need to cover that hole right now. That's getting filled up. That's getting filled up. Nope, nope, nope. I'll fall right in there. Yeah, this is super, super dangerous, dude. Like, this is sketch. This cave system, and honestly, I, I don't, 
other than the sulfur, because that was literally the only thing that I've that we currently didn't have, which apparently doesn't really have much of a point, because it's basically just to make explosives, which I'm not really sure what we need that for. The this planet doesn't really serve us a lot of purpose, because you can get Wolfram Array, but you can get that from the Solo, which is a much easier planet to fuck with, and you can get copper, but you can get copper on the, the our main planet. So I don't really fully understand the point of needing to come here in the first place other than just like for the you know love of the game and exploring um let's see here i'm trying to find anything cool to justify being here there are a lot of like medium or large rovers that are damaged down here like a lot interesting yeah i thought so Okay, I'm going to render an opinion of Kalidor right now. Sucks. This planet is worthless. <laughs> <laughs> I really Something don't see like... anything overly cool about it that it's, like, giving me an excuse or a reason to be here. The... Oh, of course, after doing all that digging, by the way, like, I found, like, a way to the surface, like, without digging. Um, the... You know, like, the little bite things that you can scan... Mm -hmm. uh, that form in caves, and they, they usually give you a fair amount. Th those are pretty decent down here. They're averaging about 150-ish. Yeah. Um, so the research isn't bad, and that research node thingy that I found also was not that bad. So, like, that's okay. Um, but I haven't really found anything overly awesome. Like, I just discovered a good patch of copper. Like, I guess I'll bring some copper back with me. But, like, it's not... We do actually need copper. Yeah, I know. I consumed a fair amount of copper just to get here, though. That's the thing. Like, I used up a lot of our yeah, copper to build solar panels so that I had solar panels when I got here. So I was at least going to, like, replenish that. But, um, like, copper in and of itself is not a <laughs> reason to come here. Like, just put the lights. <laughs> Perfect. They're <laughs> literally facing each other. God, could you imagine how hot that would get? Those would We're going fly. along. <laughs> yeah, they just friggin' they like burst into flames. Melt point. off. It's fine. This is fine. All right, let's go. So whoever's driving, get in for get in. Let's go. Come on, let's get up. I'm in. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we have We're going to space. <laughs> We're going to space. Then. Oh Good my job. god. Oh my god, that was funny. Jesus you guys, Christ. like, I think me and Viper tried to get in at the same time. Yeah, because every time Viper tries to get in when I was in already, it would nudge it. I would get nudged a little bit. Okay. This time, it was not a nudge. I'm going to... Well, like I said, we were trying to get in at the same time, so that might have yeah. why that might have been why it you was more than a nudge. Exponential. Jesus Christ. Awesome. Okay, I will deforest this so that you can get Thank out. Thank you. <laughs> Screw you, nature. <laughs> That's a big tree. Don't dig, yeah, don't dig too deep. Timber. Well, I, mean, I gotta get the tree oh, out. Oh boy. Just wait for the spawn there, Dale. Eh, eh, eh. I am now one with the ground. All right. Okay. All right. Let's I'm... try not to go to space this time. <laughs> We were, we were almost into orbit. We were kissing yeah, the You guys, here. I mean, like, wait till you watch the video from my perspective. You guys went <laughs> so high up. All right, well, anyway, so mission accomplished today, I feel like. I really wanted to get two of those things lit up today, but uh, we'll probably get the second one lit up, like, off camera, frankly, because we need to get that going. Um, but we did go to Calador, at least I did. You guys can watch the video later on to see what you missed out on. Not much. Caldor was not uh, a favorable planet. I would definitely never go back there again. I really don't understand the point of it. Um, I guess if you were super desperate for copper, there's probably a little bit... Copper is probably a little bit easier to find than it is on this planet, but not by much, frankly. And like I said, Wolfmarite, go to the Solo for that. I mean, honestly, if you weren't curious about all the planets like i am myself i would literally never go there i have there's no reason to go there whatsoever you can get sulfur from uh the toxic planet if you really wanted it for some reason and honestly like it's not a, it's not something that you need like you don't need to make explosives for any reason that i can tell so um i'm over it 
Uh, I feel like that was a waste of a planet. But I am glad that at least I saw it and now that I know. So that the people at home, like, if you're also playing this game, like, I'm giving you valuable information. Skip that planet. Totally worthless. Um, so, anyway, we're going to sign off. We'll see all of you on the next episode. And uh, make sure, if you guys were watching The Forest, which I hope you were, you're keeping an eye out for our new series because we're going to be starting up with the um we're gonna be starting up with conan exiles here uh by the time this airs it's actually there's a decent chance that it's already started so i would really appreciate it if you guys went out and checked that out uh my fiance is going to be joining us on that series so that's going to be interesting to have a fourth person and a lady perspective i'm really looking forward to the new series conan is a really fun game there's a lot to do in it like it's a very large surprisingly large game from what i can tell uh so i'm really looking forward to it because i think it's going to keep us busy for quite a while uh it'll be a much longer running series than astroneer is turning out to be or the forest was so um definitely go check that out i appreciate everybody coming out if you're new to the channel make sure that you click that uh, bell icon as well as subscribe so that you know when all the latest coolness is happening. Big thanks again to Scale and Viper for joining me. Yep. Yay. And I will see everybody on the next episode.